Veronica from Florida, and I'm here to talk about Christmas and all things Mary. Hi, I'm Matthew Willis from Michigan. I'm here to talk about the Jewish holiday of Hanukkah. No, I'm not going to come in dressed as an armadillo like Ross did in Friends. Hi, my name is Naomi from California, and I'm so excited to be here to talk about Kwanzaa. Christmas is a Christian festival celebrated on the 25th of December. It's a holiday to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. For me, it's a festival of love and togetherness. It's when we open presents, decorate the tree, drink eggnog, and just snuggle with our loved ones to watch some good old Christmas classics. Hanukkah is the Jewish holiday that celebrates the miracle of the menorah oil that lasted for eight days when the Jewish people reclaimed the temple in Jerusalem from the tyrant king of Damascus. The one thing that I remember during my childhood celebrating Hanukkah was when my booby would always light the menorah candles and going and playing the dreidel game with the rest of the family afterwards. I would describe Kwanzaa as a week-long celebration held in the United States to honor universal African heritage and culture. People light a canara, which is a candle holder with seven candles, and give each other gifts. It's a reminder of who we are and helps me to be grateful to my ancestors who went through a lot to give us the equality we have now. Look, most brands are a bit biased and they could try to be a little bit more inclusive. I'm sure that they feel the same way about their festivals as I do about Christmas. And I can imagine that they feel overlooked when they see Christmas promotions plastered all over. Growing up, well, the kids around me always celebrated Christmas. And finding things for a Hanukkah was never that easy. I do hope that one day that everybody can be inclusive and be able to celebrate that everybody's holiday and respect that. Christmas and Hanukkah were observed much earlier than Kwanzaa. Having said that, It'd be really liberating to see brands carve out some space in their marketing for a cultural festival like Kwanzaa. But I'll be sold if a brand comes forward with the Kwanzaa element. I was surprised to see the holiday update instead of Christmas update. I think that's pretty cool. My favorite part of the new update is the wreaths, but my mom, she likes the new event where Kakoa goes to the North Pole to get the goodies. They have a lot of neutral themes in there. Yes, there is a Christmas tree, but they also have a menorah. And the exclusive decor is definitely my favorite part of the new update. They actually have this cute little snowman in there. Neutral, of course. I think the game as a whole is very inclusive in terms of race, the characters created, marketing campaigns, and now the holiday update. I personally relate to Zendaya. I think her as a strong, independent woman who's taking the culinary world by storm. So a game recognizing Kwanzaa gives me hope that we may be moving towards inclusivity and accepting diversity. 